Hello and welcome to Trains and Fiatic. And today I'm going to look at this kit and build this kit. I didn't realise that uh, Pico had released this new range, but I saw it in a model shop, so I have picked it up and I'll do a, a quick review of it, build it, and then tell you what I think of it. It's So this is for a new kit I picked up from Pico. If I have a little Cricut uh, range. So it's in a nice little plastic pack. On the back it gives you all the details of the other two bits of the kit. Barcode, this is not a toy, made in England and all the other bits. And then inside we get uh, several laser cut wooden sheets to make the model. They actually look quite interesting. So you've got floor and side wall, front and side wall, back wall and awning, awning, uh, awning front and a few other bits. Then you have the roof parts, which aren't really that well done in my opinion. It looks like I might need to coat of paint in the end. But I'll still build it like that. Then you get doors, guttering and windows. Look like it was originally designed for, to go in a big box, but they decided to put it in the small packaging. So I'll go and do the build. Actually, I'll show you the instruction first, which is very simple. What glue are they recommending? So it's saying use PVA. I'll most probably use my uh, deluxe material white glue and start from there. So it's wanted for base build and then move up to the top. So I'll do the build and then talk to you after that.
so I have finished the kit. Few little notes before I go and do the review. Uh, equipment you need is a foil to go and get off some burrs. And also, when you go for your scalpel, go for one with a uh, chisel in so that you can actually cut on the lines which you need to cut. But very enjoyable kit. A bit complicated in places, but very nice. You can see the glue is still setting, but on the whole it's set. It's a very nice detailed kit. Personally, I think the roof could have been done better by by making it out of the same material, but this was a decision Pico made. And I just don't get on well with plastic roofs. <laughs> But apart from that, I actually really like this kit. One thing I will do one point in the future is to just paint up there. So that it's a different colour to wood. But I'll still be wanting for wood on the underside. Uh, as you can see from the video, it really didn't take too long to do. The, best, the way I did it was cut off the pieces off the spurs. Then uh, follow the instructions, do the base, bottom, middle, then the reef. Uh, I'll just lower the camera a bit and then I'll carry on talking. With the camera in this position you can actually see all the details. The nice handrails, the doors and windows. Door on the side, which you have the choice between a glazed or a unglazed one. I decided unglazed. You can see how the bottom overhang for, is hidden by the overhang. And it's a really nice little kit. I strongly recommend anybody else to make it, as it's a pleasure to do. I wouldn't do this as a first kit, i say you need to have a little bit of experience with building uh, model kits, but I wouldn't say this is a very hard kit. So I hope you have enjoyed this video, thank you for your time and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much, Richard.